Guys, Ralph here, True Power Trumpet Fitness, and welcome to Terrific, Terrific Tuesday. Um, overcast and cold. <laughs> I haven't seen a bike for a week. Went out once, <laughs> froze my tukas off, and uh, that was it. Anyway, um, you saw the thumbnail. Allison Balson, she the next Maurice Andre. Ooh, it's a lot to ask of anybody, but uh, I'll explain. Uh, I've not played yet today, so let's uh, let's see what we got. Yes, double C's, a little Tartini, a little Brandenburg, just be able to knock it off. Anyway, Allison Balsam. Now, first of all, is she the next Maurice? That's, that's not great. That's not too great judge, to judge anybody against Maurice, because in that genre, there is no question he was the best that ever lived. Um, there was a, only a couple guys that I know that even came close to him up to that point, and there hasn't been anybody close since. Not even close. Um, so again, to compare her to that is not fair. Uh, Sherbaum, before him, could do anything he did chop-wise, but he didn't quite have the, the finesse, the beauty of the phrasing and all that sort of stuff that Maurice had. Kmar was another one, a contemporary of his, but he was a almost 100% uh, orchestral player and never really got the, uh, the uh, acclaim as a soloist. Um, modern day players, no. Nobody close to what he was doing. Nobody. Um, and that brings us to Allison. So the fact that I'm even comparing her to means I hold her in very high regard. I think she's I think she's terrific. I think she's absolutely terrific. And one of the reasons that I think she's so good is her articulations pop. Not everybody's do. I mean, they can play fast and, and crazy and all this sort of stuff, but very, very few people have the articulations pop. Nakarayakov is another one. And he's in the same uh, boat as Balsam. Um, Rizzuti, for all his greatness, I, I don't hear the pop on the tech on, on the the um, the uh, articulation. But we're getting off the subject. Allison, I do believe the notes pop, and for that reason, I think she is doing something right with her tongue, her tongue position, and whatnot. Um, I've never heard her talk about it. I never met her personally. So this is just from what I hear uh, on the internet and whatnot. Um, and again, when the articulations are right, something has to be right with what you're doing with the tongue. Now, is it the lib tongue? Is it the tweak? Is it the tongue through the teeth? A variation of all three? Something a little bit different? I don't know. Without talking to her, I don't know. And without actually sitting next to her and... Uh, now, I, I, I can make a pretty good... Uh, pretty good idea that what she's doing is right with the chops, with the tongue. Okay? Now, why doesn't she have the double C's like Maurice did if her tongue is right? Well, here's the deal. If the tongue is right, like her and Nakarayakov, but the upper register is not, there can only be one thing that's holding you back. There can only be one thing, and that is an efficient mouthpiece. Okay? Now, I want you to take a look at these pictures. Okay. Now there's balsam. Okay. Now you notice how flat her bottom lip and her top lip are. Okay. See, she doesn't have that bubble that we talked about so much now compared to Maurice. And this isn't fair 
but compare it to Maurice. You see the difference in the thickness? Now, back to Allison for a minute, okay? And look at her, how tight her corners are. Now, they're not super tight. I've seen worse than that, okay? So even though she is flat, you know, with the chomps and everything, she does get the right articulation, which means the tongue is right, okay? Now, here's the deal. What I believe with her, since the articulation, articulation right, since her phrasing, her tonal quality and everything is absolutely beautiful, everything else is ready to go. As far as speed of articulation and everything, she's got it. She's absolutely got it. Okay? And you add the pop to the notes, I, I think she has potential to absolutely be the best, if not reach Maurice Heights. To be the best right now. Okay? Now, here's the deal. There's, as I said, with her and Akarikov, there's only one thing that's holding them back. If the tongue is right and they don't have double C's, it's the mouthpiece. I really and truly believe that without even a lesson with me or Jerry, just take that out of the picture. You just give her a 1SS, a 1SB, or a 1SC, or all three. In a month, she'd be a different player. Three months, she might even have a double C. I really and truly believe it because if the tongue is right, this will all adjust to a proper mouthpiece. Okay? Everybody else I hear out there, they're not quite right with the articulation, and they would need um, a bit of an overhaul. She does not need an overhaul. All she needs is a decent mouthpiece, and she could be up to Andre level, if not close, close to that, if not that. Now, again, that's not fair to anybody. That is asking a lot. I do believe, as I said before at the beginning, he is absolutely 100%, not even close, the best of that genre. Not even close. Mel Broyle said it. I mean, there, there is, is no discussion with that. And I like your comments and criticism down below, but I mean, don't, don't, don't even go there because I'm just, I'm just going to delete it. <laughs> if you don't think he's the best, then, then there's nothing to talk about. All right. Um, but again, I really and truly believe with the proper equipment, she could be a Brandenburg. Yep. She could be a Tartini at, a, at the drop of a hat. And I do believe in order to perform those works, like Maurice did, okay, 200, 250 dates every single year, globe trotting the whole nine years and never missing a note, it's got to be easy. It's got to be easy. Now, I hear lots of stories about people that com get commissioned to do the Brandenburg, and they just drop everything for three months before to prepare for it. If that's what you got to do, you, you, you're probably not, even though you may be able to pull off a nice performance here or there, it's not like Maurice just globe trotting and, and just killing it every night. Okay. Um, actually, Bilger wanted to do the Brandenburg at the ITG. Was it last year or the year before? And uh, he crashed. He couldn't do it. Okay. So um, he didn't show up. Uh, so again, very, very few people have those kind of chops, but I think she has the potential to do, do that if she so chose. Okay. In the meantime, I mean, she's terrific. Up to a high C, she's close to flawless. I mean, obviously, she looks the part. She's got charisma while she's, while she's performing. Uh, her beauty of lines and, and everything and the tone and everything and the lyrical stuff is absolutely beautiful. Um, she's got it all. She needs another octave. And again, I truly believe with the setup that she has, that would just be a mouthpiece away. Okay? 1SS, 1SB, or 1SC. And I think with her chops, with the tongue right, you can bounce from one to the other. The one SB for the Brandenburg or the Michael Hyden, the one SC for the the uh, Tartini and Talamon and all that, and uh, you know the one SS for the Hyden or the Hummel, things like that. Or is what I prefer, the one SB for everything. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's that. Tell me what you think of her. If you're not familiar with her playing, do yourself a favor. There's plenty of stuff all over the internet. Plenty of stuff. And uh, let me know what you think. And let me know what you think about articulations. I, I, I think for the most part, they're absolutely spot on. So there you go. And if you get the tongue right, the rest is just a spit buzz away. All right, guys. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. One, two, three.